Hello and welcome to the Nexus. We're doing issue 118 of our Terminator build. Only two issues left on our Terminator build. Uh, before I go any further, I have to thank my patrons for supporting me. You guys are awesome and yeah, brilliant. Um, anyway, so let's get on. We've got a big box in this issue because we do have one half of the pole anyway. So in this issue, we are going to be completing our base, um, as in we won't need to do any more to it, except uh, the top half of the base afterwards uh, and attaching our terminator. Uh, so this completes the bottom of the base. So we'll need the base plate and the space as well. So let's grab that and get going. So the first thing we're going to be doing is attaching our pole. So it just sits in, just like that. It's a, it's a fairly snug fit. Uh, I'm just going to line it up now. And we're going to take our really long screws. So these are the screws that we're going to be using. They go through here or through there, like that. All the way through. And we're going to use a nut here to secure it in place. We've got four of these to do. Let's carry on doing that. So as you can see, we've done that. And it's nice and secure in there. It's actually really, it's really solid now. Uh, I'm wondering if it's going to have enough weight to hold the Terminator because the top of this Terminator is really heavy. And I'm just wondering if that is going to actually be enough. Because there's still a bit of movement in that, even though I've tightened uh, the screws and nuts there quite tight. But anyway, it is what it is. So let's get the main base and we're going to fit the poles in here. Uh, let's see how I'll get on with that. Okay, so this is the base and this is where we're going to fit it through. So we've got to flip it, or at least half it. I've got to take off that skull. I've got to remember to keep... To... This is the last time we flip this over. So we now have to try and fit this through. It's going to be interesting. Now it does say in the magazine we can take this panel off, but I think we can actually get it in. So it's just a matter of maneuvering it, I think, and making sure we don't catch any of these wires. So this one goes in like this. Where there you go. So you can actually get it in through a bit of an angle. So you see this angle here. I'm just going to pull the camera up a little bit. So there's a little bit of an angle there, so that's straight, and you can see the, the angle it's on. So I'll just put the camera back now. And then that just slides through, like so. Like that. So hang on, we might be able to back up here a minute bit. Pull the camera up. There we go. So. Uh, that's through there. So now what we're going to do is uh, turn this over. So it's a bit like that. We're going to secure the uh, secure the base plate in, and our last felt back in, which will obviously sit just here. So I'm going to go ahead and screw that in now. Okay. So the base plate is complete the base of this is complete there's actually only one thing left to do and that is we've got some um it's, it's so dark um we've got some four little rubber stopper things here and they go on the corners so one just here i don't know if you can see that you'll probably be able to see the next couple on the actual screws on the side here they sit and let me go down a bit lower like that, that's it. The one just there, and the last one just there. And that's the base done. So let's flip it up and take a look. So um, the poles are in now. We've got two things, we've got one more thing actually left to do. And that is to add these. So I'm gonna pull this round. I'm just going to get a bit closer now to the top of this. 
Uh, like that. Oh. So, yep, I had to move away because we're now so into this. So this just goes in like that and you push it and this is the same. You're literally just pushing that down. We're going to use a screwdriver here just to nudge this down until it clicks in. So we're just going to use this just to uh, there we go. So we've got one and there's another one and they're on the back so that's nice and that's it for this issue let's have a look see what we get in the next one so we get the upper pole section we get the parts to actually attach the terminator and we get a decorative chain and that's it that will be issue 119 uh that is it from us here at the nexus thank you for watching and we'll see you at the next video